Uh-oh. Okay. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> Got to fix the camera. Or something needs to happen. Huh. Let's see. I wonder if Mr. Bunsen was down here doing court organization again. The culprit. He just ran, did you? Miss Bunsen, you're the culprit. Court organization problems. You, yes, sir. <sighs> Good morning, everybody. It is Randy Thunhorst Senate. Here I am, doing things and stuff. Me and Mr. Bunsen are having some disagreements this morning. Can everybody see and hear me okay? Responding. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's Rosanna. Okay, I was just like, what is happening? Uh, <laughs> all right, so here we are this morning. How are you guys doing? Who's on here? Hi, Rosanna. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Nancy. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you're feeling better, Nancy. Hi, Natalie. Marsha. Joanne. Hello. Hi, PK. Hi, Laverro. Hi, Deborah. Bum, bum, bum. Hi, Marsha. I can hear you. <laughs> Looks like the gang is logging up. Okay, great. Um, let's see. Do I have any announcements? What day is it? I'm so confused. I'm just like, what? It's Thursday? Shannon was like, yeah, today's my last day, you know, for the week. And I was like, um, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so what do I have going on tonight? Nothing. I have nothing. What day is it? No, nothing going on. We were going through the website and this morning, me and Shannon, and we were just making a list of things that we got to pick up at the store when I go. So I am going to the store, to Taylor's Falls Beat Store, um, tomorrow. So if you are new here and you need things from the bead store or things you want me to look for, you need to message me in the Facebook Messenger or email me which is in the description of this video so that i know what you want you can also get a hold of me on etsy i guess that's fine i kind of like to keep all my messages in one spot i feel great i can finally walk without fear of passing out oh lovely <laughs> that's lovely nancy love to hear it <sighs> okay so i am going to the store tomorrow um, I do have a few people on the list for things that they wanted and I know it's been two weeks since we've had a live sale or it's, it'll be two weeks. So it's kind of like, uh, I'm going to do my best to pick up all that stuff. But if you need stuff, message me so I know. 
Yes, me and Mr. Bunsen are having disagreements because he's just telling his father lies. <laughs> he's just telling telling Jeff that I am just starving him to death. And I'm like, you have a whole bowl, bowl of dry food, but he doesn't want dry food. He wants wet food, and he is very angry about it. <laughs> But his, our Chewy order is supposed to be coming. He's got to have the prescription food. So there's nothing I can do. He was fighting Lily this morning for her wet food. Poor thing. Because Lily's really timid. That's our dog, if you don't know. So, anyway. That's the goings on. Uh, you guys. I, I just have to say this. Randy needs a little support this morning. Thank you for coming before we get into this next beating situation. Um... So I did the bargain bead box yesterday. Good morning, Karen. I did the bargain bead box yesterday and it didn't turn out. Remember how I was talking about all the things that go into making a YouTube video and it didn't work. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So now I'm like, well, I can't post this video because I mean, I could post the video, but I'm like, that probably wouldn't be very ethical of me because the weight disbursement of is off on the bracelet that I made. And if you're new here, I really struggle to make bracelets. Um, and so that's why I chose to make bracelets with all of the bargain bead box because I was going to practice, right? Okay, so this is part of the practicing because it's just not going well. Like, I just don't feel comfortable with it. And I... So I'm doing my best to stay positive. So yesterday I was trying to stay positive. I tried to do some, do a different design. So this is the, this was project number six. If you follow our plan video, project number six was supposed to be a chain bracelet um, with a little piece of that gold chain from the bargain bee box. And um, it was supposed to have just charms on it, just wrapped charms, just spaced out, you know, easy, right? No. It didn't work out that way because the jump rings were too big to fit into the chain. I mean, they fit, but like not comfortably fit. Like it would have been, the chain would have probably, I mean, it's stainless steel, so I don't think it would have broke, but it would have been problematic. So I decided not to do that. And so instead I decided to just, I already had all the charms made. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just string the charms onto the chain, right? Okay. Good morning. Hi. I just got a notice that my July bargain beatbox has renewed. So a new one will be here soon. Great. <laughs> um, so, okay, so I didn't get frustrated about that part. I got, so then I, so I was like, okay, I'll just string them onto the chain, which I guess is okay, but the weight disbursement of the bracelet was way off. So when I finished it and I put it on, it was like all on one side, which is fine. But I'm thinking like, if you don't make it exactly to your size, then also I use a toggle. <clears throat> if you don't make it exactly to your size, there's risk of it falling off. The weight is just kind of off for me. I just didn't, I just wasn't in love with it is the moral of the story. So then I had all this video and I was like, dang it, because I it, this took three and a half hours, you guys, to do the whole thing, you know, set up, blah, 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 get it, do the intro, do the outro. And I was just like, I cannot ethically post this because I don't even like it. So I'm trying to stay positive about my jewelry, about my um, bracelet making, but it's just rough over here. <laughs> but then I said, okay. What can I do with this? So then I was like, okay, what can I do with this to still make it into a bracelet? I just don't think the design that I originally had in mind is going to work. So I decided instead of trashing that whole video and all that time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down and I'm going to show how it didn't work. And then I'm going to do like a splice in the video. And today I plan to make it into a necklace. <laughs> so that's my answer for that. Good morning. Hi, Patty. Oh no, July. Deborah is a nodding fool. Nodding fool too. <laughs> yeah. So 
that's kind of the situation. But I'm not gonna lie, like I was feeling kind of defeated, like by the whole bracelet process because I just I've been doing research. You guys know my problem. My problem is is I don't like to measure anything. I know that's the problem. I can't move on and change something that I refuse to identify. So I identify that I don't like to measure things. The appropriate thing to do would be to measure it then, right? But here's the thing. I even tried to measure it, some of these, some that I'm doing, and it still doesn't work out. So then I was like, okay, I gotta have a board. Like I'm gonna have to get a board to help me. And so I have one, like I have like this little gray one that I have from like a million years ago, you know? And quite honestly, I'm not really sure how to work it. Like you put it in the middle and then it tells you like the length on each side. I'm just not really that great at measuring, like bead measuring and like math and stuff. And I identify that as a weakness. So I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to be positive about it. But quite honestly, this whole bargain bead box this month has really been a challenge for me. I was just like, okay, we got one left. So I was, but I don't want to, um, I don't want to just take the easy way, you know, like the easy path and do like, oh, you know, like, cause I have one bracelet left and it didn't really have a um, plan. It was like, we'll see what we got left when we get there. Um, now I could take the easy way out and just be like, we're gonna make a stretch bracelet. I make stretch bracelets all the time. I know how to make stretch bracelets. I'm comfortable with that. The moral of this story is we're supposed to be moving out of my comfort zone. So I'm just putting it out there that I'm really struggling. Any tips, tricks, comments would be helpful. Um, I'm quite fragile about it, so please be nice. <laughs> and um, yeah, just sharing in the fact that, you know, this bracelet making is just not my forte. It's just I'm trying and I'm, I'm having to put in a lot of work and a lot of skills into trying to be better. So I told myself this morning, practice, I'll just practice, 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 because that's all I can do, right? Um, but it is struggling. I, I am struggling here with this whole bargain bead box this month by putting the challenge of the bracelets on. You need to get one of those beads, bead boards specifically for bracelets. You know, maybe I should call Lauren. <laughs> Lori Walker, what is the name of her company? She does the boards, do you guys know? You know, she's always putting photos in our group of, of her necklace boards. Her and her husband make them, I think is the deal. Usually are the last one to get it, what? <laughs> Early this month, usually comes by the 10th. Uh, oh, the bargain bead box, July. Wait, what day is it? Oh, it's the, yeah. see, I'm way, I'm like way out there. It's the seventh. I usually don't get mine until like almost, it's, it's, I feel like it's way later usually. Or maybe that's just because it was late last time. I feel like it was, I feel like it was like a little long time ago, like in the month, like the 15th or something. Good morning. Check out Jamie Yoshi, Yoshida's videos on the bead gallery in Honolulu. She talks about how she designs with bracelets. Mine is out for delivery. Patty, what? <laughs> I was telling Shannon this morning, I was like, okay, Shannon, we're gonna get to this bargain bead box and I'm gonna make all these other designs that I have because we're reorganizing the studio. Nope. <laughs> I use a bead board from Acclaimed Crafts. They are the best. Acclaimed Crafts. Hi, I've been watching you and I love your designs. I think that you forget the e extras for where guardians and crimps. It adds an inch-ish. Yeah. Sometimes I do forget to ac accommodate for the for that. <clears throat> That's true. Um, I don't know. I just it always seems so small. 
And I think I want to put all the beads on there. You know, that's the problem. <laughs> I'm like, let's put all the beads on there. It'll be fun. Um, and I like to use big beads so that when I make it, it looks so small. And I'm just like, this is not going to be big enough. I'll add a couple more. And then, no. So, anyways, the moral of the story, I'm sharing because, good morning, Melissa. I have a necklace and a bracelet board. I do like the bracelet board. Well, I'm going to, okay, let me write it down so I don't forget. Okay. The, so, we've got some options. We've got, okay, this is, this is the list for the store. Can't have that. Okay, so we got looking into Lori Walker. We've got Jamie. I'm probably not saying this name right. Yoshida. Yoshida? Videos on Bead Gallery. Gallery. Okay. And then we have um, Acclaimed Craft. Bracelet? Specifically bracelet board, Karen? Or is it like a, a whole bunch of things? Good morning. Love the nodding. Fringes. <laughs> we all have design fails. I have tried three. Yoshida. 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 Okay, thanks, Rosanna. Okay, so I'll look into these things um, about getting and how to appropriately use, okay, because that's the problem. I get tools, and I'm like, I got this. <laughs> so getting and how to appropriately use the board in which they're talking about um, so that I can try to find answers to my problem. I guess is what we're gonna do. So, thank you so much for sharing with me about all of your guys' insight. Yeah, so it's just been, the struggle's real. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> What's this? Hi, Amanda. The Softlex live video from yesterday had Jamie from the Beat Gallery, and she has three sizes. She generally makes 15 centimeters, 16 centimeters, 17 centimeters makes a she has a ring that she makes the bracelets around oh see I don't like centimeters <laughs> part of my problem oh, I have tried three times to make these seed bead earrings and I get almost done and the wildfire or the fire line gets knotted Sad. oh I'm so sorry Karen that's horrible Claimed Crafts is Lori Walker. They have a shop on Etsy. Oh, okay, great. So we're on the same page, I think. She does have a lot of boards. I like how they are designed for different types of things. So Lori's in our group. I should reach out to her and ask her about it. Um, because uh, I know she has boards that are like for specifically long necklaces, for bracelets for you know like different types of a thing like when they make like the multi-strand necklaces so yeah I think I'm gonna have to look into that but I'm just sharing with you guys that it has been a struggle I'm trying <laughs> that's, just, that's all I have to report today <laughs> on the bracelet making so then I'm thinking to myself I'm like okay Randy can do it <laughs> But not today. Today we're gonna make a necklace because I need that in my life. This is what I got on the mat. Oh. I got technical problems. I got, ooh. <laughs> I got all kinds of stuff. So, let me show you what I got. So here's what I was thinking. Uh, so these are the things that have, were on my mat, not this. These are the things that were on my mat from yesterday. So this is the bead strand that we used yesterday to make the necklace that we made yesterday. Uh, the one with the little arrows on it. 
I feel you. <laughs> Thank you, Annalise. Um, so these were the leftovers of, so this one, this guy, this is the guy with the Rivoli in it. This we made, was that last week? I don't even know. Yeah, I think it was last week. Uh, we made this on the morning coffee the last week and it was laying up here because I hadn't done anything with it yet. And then we had this left from yesterday. So I thought, well... I don't want to put it away because you guys know how much I love to put things away. I was like, we'll just use it. So I don't know what we're going to do. I kind of have a general idea. I grabbed up some stuff from downstairs. I have a general idea of what I want to do. Is this one broken? Yeah, that one's broken. They store really well. Oh, good. My hubby makes the seed bead fringe earrings and he uses thread from Walmart. It is called Coates and Clark's Machine Embroidery Thread. Uh, yeah, I've actually heard of that, Patty. That's a cotton thread, right? It's like a heavy cotton thread. It's like heavy duty. Okay, so what I want to do here is I grabbed up some chain. So I have this chain, I have this, and then I grabbed up this extra chain because in my head, when I saw what was left yesterday, I was like, okay, I think I got a general idea of what I want to do here, but we got to take a look because as we, we will recall, these are not matching, right? But I'm like, meh, it's fine. I don't care about matching. I do have a few arrows left. I don't know if I'll use those or not. Maybe I will. And then this one has a top drill on it this way. Right? So I'm thinking that'll be the drop. So in my head, this was like super easy. So I'm like, it should be fine, but who knows? It's morning. <laughs> you can wax it or cut it shorter. Um, so here's what I wanna do. I wanna use this guy as my focal and I wanna hang this, suspend this guy from here. I'm gonna zoom in a little smidgy. So I got this chain. I didn't know if I wanted to go gold or bronze, but I decided on gold because I already had a bunch of gold stuff up here from yesterday. So I wanna suspend this guy. You can already tell these are not the same color, so I don't know if that's gonna work out. But, okay. Moral of the story. I wanna suspend this guy on here okay wait since this is not the same color maybe I gotta use this one is this one the same color this is closer but I mean that's kind of a lot isn't it hmm Kind of a lot, because then the idea was to go this way, wire wrapping. Oh, I got too many. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, I, don't, I don't like that. I like this for the top. I was thinking I would use this on the top like this, and then I would use this, this down here. So it's not so like, you know, abrupt, I guess is the word I'm looking for. But this is the same color as the wire on this filigree, but not the same color as the filigree. What do you guys think? Where are you at? Super easy seems to be when it really fights you. <laughs> I know, right? Well, cause in my head it's super easy. <laughs> but most of the time, that's not how it works out on paper or on the beads. I'm going to go for it. Whatever. It's fine. <clears throat> okay. So that means, oh, there was another thing that I was like, oh, do I want to run this through the next, the next bit? So like if I did here and then I go through the next bit like that, I'd have to make this pretty short. I don't know if I want to do that. 
Do I want to do that? Maybe I do. Is it going to hang right? It's probably not going to hang right. I could cut it. Yeah, okay. All right, let's get this party started. What is it, Mr. Bunsen? We're doing things. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with, no, no, sir. Bunsen, don't be naughty. Come here. You cannot be up here. You say good morning to everybody? Say good morning, everybody, I'm really naughty. Bed or you're gonna to have to go to kitty jail. Yeah, look at your ears. Stay down. <sighs> Mr. Bunsen is going through it with his no food, with his no wet food. But he can't have it according to the vet. They said no. Sir, no. Hey. Oh. It's kitty jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Champagne up here. You know it, kid. This is this is 22 gauge, but the color is better. I'll go with that. All right. He might want to go to kitty jail and lay in the sun and watch the birds. Probably. He just gets really. He's been really mad because. Um, I ordered from Chewy, but because of the holiday and they had to clear, they had to clear everything with my vet, you know, about his prescription food. Um, it's, they just shipped it or something. It's supposed to be coming and he had dry food, but not wet food. And he's just very upset about it. Okay. So. That one is a drop. That's not gonna work. Okay. Um, bloop, bloop. So I have like this. And this guy I'm going to just first wrap into uh, so I can hang him. And I think I'm going to wrap down once I get this started. Which is kind of hard to do with this little point on here, but okay. <clears throat> the focal would look good as a bracelet with black beads. This one here? This guy? Yeah, we had those uh uh 
this would be like cool like this or cool like that cool on a bracelet cool for two two for earrings like it's pretty cool I thought that it would be nice and I like that I had the different stuff for my ribblies you know a little bit that looks good okay before I finish this I want to make sure that I'm gonna see how this is gonna go so I think what I'll do here so my plan is to um, wire wrap these not do them on stringing so normally if I was going to do them on stringing, I would just thread the chain on, you know. Um, but since I'm not going to do that, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to wrap these two first so that I can attach it to the wire. And I'm going to do that because when I, when I wrap this, I don't think I'm going to use a, maybe I'll use a jump ring. Maybe I'll just make the loop big enough so it can swing. So I'm going to hold off on that for right now. And I have a hair on me. Um, so now I got to cut this. How long do I want this to be? It's going to be attached here and attached here. I want it to be loopy, but not too much, so I'm going to shorten that up a little bit. All right. Here we go. Speaking of bargain bead box, mine just came. OMG, Nancy. I'm so, I'm like, what? I'm like, what is happening? Um, okay, so I want this to be quite small, so I'm just going to start over here. So now, do I want to attach with a jump ring here? I think I do because this may need to move, so I am going to do a jump ring here, so I'm not going to worry about attaching that. Three. You guys, I've been cleaning my studio down there and I find in all these projects. So I've just been putting them in the boxes and I was just like, that's it. We're just going to have to do them live because uh, your girl ain't got time. <laughs> I don't have time. So we're going to have to do them live. That's what we got. <sighs> Good morning, Rita. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so the idea here is that I'm going to start with the chain and then the stone. Is this the stone I want? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I've got a little extra wire here. I could get snazzy with it, but why? I don't want to get in the way of my chain. Otherwise, I probably would have wrapped around the bead and back, but 
I don't want to get in the way of my chain being able to be there, so I'm just going to leave it plain. Okay, so there's one side. So this side is going to be here. And then this side will be over here. Right, so it's gonna hang just like that, enough to give me a little loop underneath. Good morning, Christine. This looks nice. The focal work would work good as a bracelet. I may use one of mine in the black bracelet. Yeah, that would be super good, Roseanne. Cause you got the filigree, right? When we sold them on the sale. Did we sell them on the sale or did we just sell them? I don't remember. Anyway. Um, Yeah, they're super nice. I like them. Makes for an interesting focal anyway. I was straightening out this extra piece of wire I had. Okay. Now. Do the other side and then we can put the focal on. The rest of it should be, you know, pretty smooth. gravity involved here. I want to make sure this is hanging right. So the question then is before I put this on and finish it, I got to put on my, I'm going to have to put on my pendant. So oh, I don't have a, I don't have my uh, bail make a plier up here. So I'm just going to do my best with this guy way back here. Before I put that on there, I'm going to thread that onto the chain. And then, there we go. Right? I think that works pretty good. And then on this side, I don't have a circle one, um, but I, I'm just going to use this cube. in and I might have to adjust these little loops a little bit but I want these two to be going the same way and then um, I'm going to put jump rings first so that 
it doesn't move around too much. Where's my joints? Hope you're all having a wonderful, spectacular, amazing beating day. I hope I will have a wonderful, spectacular, amazing beating day with my bracelet situation. Okay, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna use these little guys. Let me take a look. Yeah, it's not big enough. I think... I think I'm gonna... That one is a closer fit than this. I mean, this one matches the filigree. I think, I think I'm gonna go with the oval. Big surprise there, right? <laughs> I like where this is going. Yay, thank you, Karen. <laughs> Rosanna hasn't even got out of bed. I wish I could knock it out of bed. It's not an option for me. I have to be here with you guys, but also my pets don't allow me to be in the bed. They're just like, no. Dad can be in the bed, not me. <laughs> They're like, something is wrong. is having some kind of drama here. Still got it pulled out enough, I guess. Okay. So, when I hold this up, okay, there is going to be... When I hold it up, there's going to be a little tilt in this, but I feel like one thing we can do for that is we can either, well, I could spin these to make it a little more flat, see, because it's going to want to go like that, but what I think we're going to have to do is we're going to have to attach from here down this way, but then when you have it on, it's going to be laying on you and being more supported anyway, so I'm like, is that really a thing we need to do? So I guess that's like a stability issue for yourself. But once we get further into the necklace and there's more weight on it, I'll be able to tell better. But I do like the design. Um, I do like I do like the design of it. Is this the new bargain bead box or are we just beading? No, we're just beading, Rita. <laughs> we're just beading. We're going to bead. We're probably going to bead on here a little more often because I got all these projects in my book and I've just been not having enough time to get them all done. So I was like, well, here we are. <laughs> and I could do these in the middle and then these on the top. Or these in the middle and these on the top. I think I'll go like that. I just like that better. 
So we got about 10 minutes left. I'm gonna just wrap up these beads and we might have to continue on with this maybe tomorrow because we're nearing in on 10 o'clock, but we'll see. I wouldn't worry about that. We'll lay flat when it's on. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Rosanna. So the other thing I'm thinking is that I want to use jump rings because I don't want to run the risk of too much twisting, like if I was to connect together. I just feel like that's going to give the possibility for more twisting. So I am going to use jump rings. So these are going to be cold connections. And I think when I do the jump rings, I'm not going to use the ovals. I think I might use the little tiny round guys, like the four millimeters, um, but we'll see. Randy is using her leftovers from yesterday. Yeah, these are the leftovers that we had from yesterday. Um, we did the locket necklace yesterday, which was um, one of the, that we had planned and put in my book, you know? And then this was what, these beads here were what was left over. So, I guess since I don't have chain, not chain on these, I could do, you know, like something fancy if I wanted to. Let's give her a whirl. Well, these ones are square. I don't know if I want to do that. I'll try it. I'll leave a little space here. Give it a little something, I guess. That's pretty cute. I kind of dig that. I don't think I'll do the others. I'll just do one in the middle. Cause then I'll just, cause we got we got this chain over here. Remember, it's like kind of a lot. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see when we get there, I guess. Um, yeah, so this is kind of one of the things like I was talking about, <clears throat> about like, um, just getting out of our comfort zone and stuff. Cause this doesn't bother me at all. This is like, it's like, yeah, whatever, if it, you know. Necklaces are really easy for me to do design stuff with and feel confident. And I, I believe that to be just because of all the practice that I've done, like making different types of things and like whatever. And so I just, I just feel like I said this morning, I just feel like, you know, I just never really practiced like that with the bracelets. So I feel confident that if I really put some effort into practicing with the bracelets that I will be able to, you know, gain more skills for my jewelry making. And that's the point, isn't it? You know, my problem is, is I like to get in my own way. I like to be rebellious against myself. I like to say, oh, well, I never don't really like those bracelets anyway. So why make them? You know, <laughs> it's like, can't do that. That's not a part of growing. <laughs> So, I don't know, that's kind of the goings-ons over here. I got a sneeze. Alright, 
So this one, again, I have to do the little wrap around deal. So I'm gonna leave a little more space, not too much space, but just a little bit more. Things I don't like are generally the things that sell first. <laughs> I know. That is true, Rosanna. I make some stuff that I, you know, I'm like, hmm, this really isn't, like, my style. But as my grandma says, not everything's about you, Randy. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, well, okay, I guess. That's what my grandma says. Not everything's about you, Randy. All right, so we're doing pretty good. Got a few minutes left. I could probably get these other beads wrapped up. And then we got to look at um the chain situation. So now that I'm here, I'm like, this might be too much. I don't know. Maybe we just put more regular chain on. That would probably be the best way to go. I would probably double it up and make, now I'm thinking like I gotta double it up and put like something on it. Cause this just seems like it doesn't, this is just like too much. I really wanted to use this. You know I love rosary chains, but no, it's too much. You gotta know when to stop. <laughs> I'm still learning that. Still learning how to stop. Jeff has a shirt. It says, it's time to stop. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, super funny. Um, and then these two are the only two that are left. Now, these two, I am not going to do the wrap around on the wire wrap because I just feel like it's a little bit much. With all this other business going on. Do you guys like this kind of thing in the morning? Is it too early for this? Like, I always feel like, oh, it's too early for this. Generally, because I'm like, oh, it's too early for this. My fingers don't work. Or do you guys not mind the beating in the morning? I'm just like, how are we going to get all these things we want to do accomplished? all. I love what you have on the mat. Hi, Gina. Hope you're having a lovely morning. No, this is fun. <laughs> okay. to wrap where'd he go oh and you know what this guy he's he's see-through but whatever he's like not really he's like a distant friend maybe a cousin but not he's not he's it's not in the family here it's fine <laughs> no it's not too early i am enjoying it i like inspiration in the morning by learning and by watching oh okay <clears throat> i didn't know i was like because, you know, not every, I guess, I was thinking, like, not everybody is like you, Randy. Because, you know, it's not all about me. People don't just wake up, start beating. They're like, let's have breakfast. <laughs> you know. Not you guys, though, because you guys are hardcore. I already messed that up. I don't think that's going to work. No. Two, 
Yeah. I've got, you know those, um, so you know how I store my, my design ideas in those cases? Those cases, they're actually for photos and they have, I think, like 24 cases per box. I have two of them full in the basement of projects that we planned out that we haven't had time to accomplish yet. So I'm just like, we gotta get these things done. They're just sitting in the box, not having any life or fun. Let's get it out of here. <laughs> okay. Go back. All righty. So that, that's how that's gonna go. <sighs> okay. So that's what it's gonna look like. Uh, in the front and then tomorrow we'll probably finish it up I don't know about um, I might just use the regular chain since we're already using this one I'll just use this one but I want to do something fun with it I want to like double it up or maybe I don't know something something's got to happen with that and then I got this clasp which is I don't even know where I got this but it's like one of those big um, what do you call these? Spring, spring something or other? Spring-loaded clasp? Ooh, it's a little rough. Eh. I don't know if we can use that. It's a little hard. We'll see. To be discussed tomorrow. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Jefferson is here. Um, yeah, so that's what I got going on today. Uh, it is uh, one minute to ten, so I am going to jump off of here. I don't want to keep you guys too long, and we'll, we'll work some more on this tomorrow. I like the way it's going. I like the design. Um, so, yeah, that's all I got today. I hope you're all having a wonderful, spectacular, amazing beating day, and I'm going to attempt to make more uh, on the bargain bead box video that I have to do today. I'm going to turn it into a necklace. It's supposed to be a bracelet, but it's whatever. <laughs> so I can finish that. And then um, also there's one more project after that. So working on those today, I guess I better kick it in gear before the next box get here gets here. Cripes. <sighs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a good day. Um, and share it, what's on your mat in the group with us in the Facebook group, um, the Thunder Horse Senate Facebook group, which can be found in the link of this video. If you are not in the group, please go over there. Share your uh, share what you got on your mat today. We would love to see and celebrate with you. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Have a good day.